Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Here's a question for you today. Where are your eyes? Where are your eyes? You say, well, they're in my eye sockets. That's not the point. Where are your eyes focused? Where are your eyes looking? Because where you focus, where you look, guides where you go. In a simple physiological way, we don't go almost anywhere without looking first to see where we're going. And then when we know where we're going, we move forward. Listen to these words found in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 24. And notice in both parts of the verse, in each section of the verse, there's reference to kind of our, our focal point, to where our eyes are. Proverbs 17, 24. A discerning person keeps wisdom in view, but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. A discerning person keeps wisdom in view, but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. What's being said here? What do you notice? First, there's this call to keep your eyes on wisdom. A discerning person keeps wisdom in view. Well, how do you literally use your eyes to look at wisdom? Well, I, I think it's bigger than that. The idea is let your attention, let the focal point of your life be oriented towards, be directed towards that which is wise. This book, the Bible, is filled with ancient wisdom that's very practical for today. If you've been following these weekly wisdom uh, teachings out of Proverbs, I'm sure you've said to yourself over and over through the last weeks and months, you've said to yourself, man, this is practical stuff. This speaks to right now. So keep your eyes and your view focused on the wisdom of God's Word, and it will guide you where God wants you to go. Also keep your eyes focused on people who walk and live in wisdom. Look at their example. Look at how they live. Look at what they do. Part of that looking is bigger than just our eyes. It's our ears. It's hearing. It's our lives, and it's learning. And so pay attention to people who walk in wisdom, who know the Lord Jesus Christ, who know His Word, and learn from their wisdom. And then... Find other sources of wisdom all through history. There's people who've written and spoken on and taught on things that reflect the heart of God and the wisdom of heaven. Keep your eyes focused on wisdom. And then notice the second half of this passage. But a fool's eyes wander, listen to this, to the ends of the earth. Always off to something else. Always wandering, never focusing on what's right there in front of you. Be careful that you don't take on that disposition of the fool who's always looking for the next thing, the new big thing, never satisfied with where we are. There's a folly in never noticing what's right in front of you. This is the person who has a, a, a wonderful family and a great committed spouse, but their eyes wander. Well, what else is there? What's on the other side of the fence? Is the grass greener over there? That's foolish when you have all you need right here. When you've met Jesus Christ and you know him and you love him, but the world keeps offering you other enticements and your eyes wander to the ends of the earth. So here's the encouragement today. Walk in wisdom. Let your view, your eyes, the orientation of your thinking and your hearing and your seeing be on what is wise from God. And a warning. Don't let your eyes wander to the ends of the earth because you may find something new, interesting, and even exciting for a while but it may not be the thing the Lord has for you. And so watch where your eyes are and make sure they're oriented towards that which honors God, that brings wisdom to your life. And when you pursue those things, that will bring life that you long for. Will you pray with me? Living Lord Jesus Christ, our eyes can often guide us. So protect us from wandering eyes that wander to the ends of the earth, always to some other thing, some new thing. Lord, Lord, there's times where there's new things that are great. There's times where you, you bring us into new places. That, that's a joy. That's a delight. But Lord, let our eyes be fixed on the things that honor you, that bring wisdom, that help us become who you want us to be, and protect us from wandering eyes and wandering lives that wander off your path. Lord, guard our eyes, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings on you. Have a great week. Wherever you're part of a church, engage this week and be part of the body of Christ. God bless you and have a great day.